Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Tony Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Tony Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Quarter. This mountain of divine interventions. Wake up to it daily. Let have one quiet time before God as you wake up. Be the first thing before you do anything. Listen to Tony Point audio. Pray and meditate with it. Then pray and praise God on your own as much as you can. After Read a short Bible study for the day. Pray with it also from our daily devotional prayer guide. If you subscribe to the prayer book, the content shall be sent to your phone for daily engagement. For subscription and subscription renewal, chat with Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so today if you have not already done so. Turning point audio voice. And turning point booklet, also authored by me. Combine the two, it will bless you so much. Welcome also to Friday, the 27th day in September 2024. Please open your hand and your heart for today's prayers and prophetic blessings. Be responding with Amen. I receive it. I see you on a covenant flight to your next level of life. Psalm 84 verse 7 says, They go from strength to strength, everyone appearing in Zion before the Lord. I speak to all my listeners' lives today. Nothing shall stop your upward movement in Jesus' name. I hear decoration. Decoration. God is going to add color to your life and decorate your life with good things. I have an urge in my spirit today to pray for anyone owing some disturbing and embarrassing debt and those being owed by individuals, company, or government. Do this. Let's do this. Which financial instrument do you have around you there? Do you have your checkbook, your credit, your debit, your ATM card, your invoice or receipt booklet, or a currency note of choice of your country? Any of these or all of these that you might have, hold it up, raise it up as a point of contact. As I pray, I prophesy the debt you owe shall be supernaturally settled. It will either receive debt forgiveness, debt reduction, outright cancellation, or divine provision big enough for you to pay the debt off with ease. And for those owing you, I invoke the power in the name of Jesus Christ to apply pressure on them so they pay you the money they owe you. It shall be so. It shall be paid in Jesus' name. That's okay. Everybody, say this with me. Make this confession with me. Say it loud enough for your ears to hear you. Make it good. Say, I am a favored child of God. My life will enjoy help and assistance everywhere I go. This month still owe me many blessings. It shall be delivered in full before the month is over. Now touch your body and say, my body, you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. You shall not have sickness or disease. I lay hands on my body system. Body be healed now. Be healed. Jesus has suffered for me. By his stripes I am healed. I am healed now in Jesus' name. Yes, believe God. You are healed. In few hours time, you won't feel this pain again. Then, in a moment from now, God will release a miracle phone call into your life. It shall bring joy, smiles, and laughter. Your name shall come up in high places where decision will be made that will favor you. Say amen. Someone is due for promotion, but certain things, certain protocols, certain people are blocking it. Not again after this prayer. God will overturn their evil plans, break all the protocols, and your promotion letter will issue soon. Say amen. All those trusting God for promotion and those that must make a target sale, a target performance before the end of the month, do a one-day fast tomorrow till 1 p.m. Then pray and ask God for what you desire done. Back it up with a good battle seed of choice that God may lay on your heart. You will see what will happen. A miracle will follow. September 27th celebrant, your birthday prayers. May God bless your birthday. May the next 365 days of your life be days of wonders, good health, prosperity, and fulfillment. Happy birthday. Listeners, first issue for teaching and learning today. I have a question that is bothering my mind. 
can one accept back a man who was in relationship together for three years, even did introduction, later broke away, broke my heart to marry another lady. But the woman gave back twice. None of the baby survived. Now he came back asking for my hand in marriage after 10 years of separation. Please, sir, what should I do? I need your advice. Wow. Oh, no. Don't ever entertain such a man who broke your heart, walk away, marry someone else, returning after 10 years. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just wondering why in 10 years you two have not settled down in marriage. I'm just wondering. So many things must have also gone wrong with you, which God will put right. Whatever they are, God will locate you with your own husband. Don't have anything to do with the kind of character you just described here. Next, sir, is it a sin to borrow money for business or buy goods on credit for selling? Wow, I've answered this question several times. But well, new people are joining this platform every day. So we need to say some things over and over again. Everybody listen to this. Do not borrow money to start a business. A business must start from your previous savings, intentional savings, or gift, or if you have an inheritance. Never, never borrow money to start a business, especially borrowing money with interest or a timeline to pay back. It will put pressure on you. A business can only take a loan from bank reputable banking institution when that business is already doing well and even then you must bring your financial accountant and auditors who will audit your book and tell you if that business is loan worthy and also study the terms and condition of that loan and advise you whether to take it or not and please business people take your financial experts advice seriously as for buying on credit to sell, again, it depends on the terms and the agreement of giving you the good to sell. If the profit will be so marginal because you are not buying cash down, don't take the goods. It means you are just working for the person and yet you have to spend money. You will soon run into trouble with that person. No shortcut in starting a business than to first of all save money to start, except you have a government grant or somebody gave you a grant and like I said, you inherit a fortune. Next, good day, Pastor Femi Emmanuel. Please, sir, what is your advice for getting married on getting married to a married man and whereby his wife also know about it and they are Christians? Wow, what kind of Christians those ones are? Which Christianity permits polygamy? No, don't go near don't destroy another woman's home. The man in question is not a Christian. Listen, bearing a Christian name or attending a church does not make somebody a Christian. It is knowing Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, having a born-again experience, and living in line with biblical doctrine and standard that make one a Christian. Next, I am one of your devoted followers. My issue is that I am finding it difficult to sleep at night when each time I dash home for two days weekend at my apartment in Otterside. But do sleep fine in Lagos where I walk. Could it be spiritual or health issues? I need your advice and prayer, sir. Wow, I don't think so. I think it is more of a psychological thing. It's a mind issue. Even me, myself, whenever I get to a new place, a new environment, I found my sleep disturbed. I don't sleep well the first few days, one or two days. But after that, my system adjusts to the environment. I'm able to sleep well. Some people don't have such issues, but many people do. Take your mind off it, whether it is spiritual or not. Don't call it spiritual. That will create fear in you, sending sleep further away. When you are on leave or something, go and spend a week or two there. It is your house. You will start sleeping well. It is not everything that is spiritual attack. Sometimes they are just our mind issue or they are psychological in nature. Next, Happy New Month, Pastor Femi and TPGF. Is Matthew 6, 33 a covenant? If yes, which part of the covenant does it relate to? Wow, I really don't understand your question here. My understanding of Matthew 6, 33 is the message of Jesus 
in Matthew chapter 6, verses 30 to 34. Listeners, read it. Matthew 6, 33 should be the mantra of every Christian. That is, make God the center of your life. Be devoted in serving God. Make it number one priority. And God will take care of all other things in your life. It is as simple as that. Serve God with all your heart. Then God will meet all your needs. That's my understanding of Matthew 6, verse 33. As a matter of fact, that is the mantra of my life. And I think that should be the mantra of the life of every Christian. We'll stop here today and continue tomorrow. There are so many issues here waiting for attention. Have you been blessed? Answer me. Please rebroadcast this to all on your contact. Do so daily. It's a service to God. Do it consistently. There will be no live broadcast this evening. I am far away from the base. Next Monday we do. Tomorrow morning is our communion service online. Prepare your communion element this evening. After receiving turning point tomorrow morning, you administer the communion. We are now receiving voice note testimonies. Record your testimony on WhatsApp. Take your phone to where there will be no background noise. Make it loud and clear. Put the phone close to your mouth and speak with excitement in your voice. Speak by introducing yourself. My name is so, 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 so. Then record your testimony on WhatsApp. Just one minute, not more than one minute. Then keep, uh, and then send it to our WhatsApp number. Send it to our number. Plus two three four eight zero triple five eight three triple seven. Plus two three four eight zero triple five eight three triple seven. Give your testimony so that God can do more. A testimony not given, the enemy can steal the miracle. Give your testimony online through WhatsApp. It shall be a blessing to many. If you are a monthly titan, personal or corporate titan, back to Thanksgiving seed, partnership commitment seed, or the seed of 999 we are sowing this month, do so as soon as you earn your income. In October, we shall move on to the seed of 10, 10, 10, 10. Whatever you do that brings God's glory and God's blessings, you don't stop doing it. This covenant understanding of tithing and seed sowing, they are blessing us. Keep it up. If you want us to send you the commission's account, send an SMS or a chat, or please send me the commission's account to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. For TPDF members in UK doing your tithing and transfer transferring in pound sterling, send an a chat to zero seven four one 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 two eight four zero one for the HSBC account detail. I prophesy to everyone's life. You will do well. You will end this month well. You will start a new month great. All these prayers shall be fulfilled for you. What God cannot do does not exist. For God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a great day.